Well, hello, hello, y'all. It's Latka, here with some Victoria 3. We're playing that Cape Colony, we're forming that South Africa, and we're going to break away from Great Britain, and we might do that this episode. We're going to figure it out. Um, I would like to build up the military a little more, although it really kind of doesn't matter too much, uh, because I would be building up the military for years before I even came close to hitting 349 battalions plus 171 conscripts. So we're probably just going to break away and see what happens. Um, but yeah. And hey, another announcement. If you watch both this series, the Victoria 3 series, and the City of Gangsters series, um, I have... Oops. Knock that back down to four. Uh, I have decided to take a break from City of Gangsters. Uh, it's just, it's been draining me when I record it. And this is a hobby. It is not a job. <laughs> I, I wish it was my job, but it is not my job. And um, if it's a hobby, I kind of just, I want to enjoy what I'm recording. I want to, even though I know a lot of people enjoy it and... It really hurts that I have to take a break. I am going to take a break, and I hope that uh, everyone can understand that. So, yeah. But hey, let's get started. Let's get started. On pause, we're building a bunch, but we're still making money. That's the important bit. That's the important part. Um, we're going to build up just a little more. We're going to hit this uh, malaria prevention and then we'll have to reload the game <clears throat> because there's a bug with the malaria prevention right now where it doesn't take effect it doesn't wipe out severe malaria excuse me Philis philosophical pragmatism unlocked that's pretty nice but it doesn't uh, get rid of severe malaria in places uh, and colonies until you reload for some reason so uh, we will have to save the game and reload once we hit the uh, technology finishes, which will be in seven months, so it's pretty pretty close. Uh, we'll research that, reload, and we'll talk about uh, getting away from our parent nation of Great Britain, who is a constitutional empire right now, led by Emperor Alexander Brudenel Bruce. Um, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to step away from the empire just for a little. Oh, a proletarian revolt. Nice. You like to see it. This will leave them weaker. Uh, let's zoom out just a little. 15 plus 24. So we do kind of want to build up our military just a little um, so that we can take out the Zulu. Uh, we really want to knock them off the, the map. Uh, we need the map. Yeah. So right now we are kind of like saving money by not having our... Uh, soldiers in very good form but we're going to upgrade uh, everything should I? no we'll keep the conscripts at cannon artillery and uh, line soldiers line infantry I think that'll be good um, and then so that's going to knock us down and in fact it's going to make it so ooh, threshing machines that's pretty good for our farms. Um, but we're going to... This is why we're going to expand, because war is very uh, expensive. It's very expensive. It is a last resort, but it's the only resort we can get to for Zulu and the Orange. So we're going to take it to them. We got to. We need to form South Africa, and unfortunately... This all needs to come and belong to us. So, that is what that is. 
And we will take what is there. Okay. So we need a little more building. What's glass at? Ooh, glass is pretty, pretty hefty. What if I do this? Uh, we'll knock up the textile mills and the motor industry as well. Once we finish this coal mine. Hey, would you look at that? We're still pulling in money even after upgrading our army. Yeah, so even though we have 16 battalions, because we upgraded uh, their equipment, we went from 16 power projection to 176. And if we zoom out and look at the Zulu, they've got 15 battalions and 24 conscript battalions, but uh, their technological sophistication, sophistication, Jesus, uh, is only 16. So we're really, I'm not too worried about the war. I'm worried about the cost of the war um, because deploying troops costs money. We have just about a million uh, we have 855,000 pounds going down right now uh, in the reserves. So it shouldn't take too long, but it, uh, we'll need to hire another general. And really just... Because if we attack Zulu, there's a good chance that Verstat will uh, attack us as well. Or the Orange, sorry. There's a good chance these two nations will go to war together, and if they do, we'll need two generals for each front. So, that's the plan. That's the plan. Pulling in money again. We might pump up these logging camps to nine to max them out. And maybe max out the fishing wharves as well. Uh, probably expand some wheat farms. Yeah. If we give them steam powered, we lose. Yeah, we lose a bunch of laborers. And we only gain a hundred pounds, so that's not a good deal. Not a good deal. Got the glassworks, motor industries, and textiles. All going. Okay. So. Let us. Talk to. Great Britain. And we're going to. Demand independence. And we're going to. Cordial. Puppet. We break this diplomatic pact. Um, they would not accept this, even if we owe an obligation. So we're going to... We're going to break it. Let's see how this... Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, they refused the demand to end our puppet status. So... Unfortunately, we need to demand independence. They keep refusing. How dare they? Independence refused. They still demand it. Okay, so... Take on debt. Diplomatic plays. Independence. Oh, I know why. Shoot. Um. Damage them. Expel diplomats. Independence. There we go. And we. There we go. So now we see if Great Britain conquers us or not. Abraham Pretorius of the Intelligentsia is rapidly gaining popularity among the people. The radical socialist message of equality espouses is proving especially appealing to the lower classes. Inspirational. 
Uh, so. Yes. 16 battalions versus 515. Um. Yeah. We're going to see if they manage to naval invade. If they don't, we've won. If they do, we've lost miserably. Um. So, yeah. Let's just keep building. Because there's no use in resisting. If they invade, they invade, and we've lost. So, we're just going to keep building. We need to upgrade our steel mills. Let's upgrade our logging camp and the fishing wharves as well. So, yes. Target cocky. Initiator is me. Back down? No, we will not back down. Um, let's ask France interactions. Please come please please come to my side. Please. Please, sir. We'll have to we'll have to see who sides with who. Sir, please. Great power number one. France is number two. Um, yeah, they have the support of all their other colonies. Police brutality. The use of extreme force has become, is becoming increasingly common among police officers in Eastern Cape. The working class and the socially conscious are rallying against the police as an institution. We cannot tolerate this behavior. Um, more radicals. So we're just, we're going to take that and then immediately pop it back up. Um, yeah, we lose it for 50 weeks, whatever. Who cares? Um... Honestly, that's a that's just a really bad like choice uh, or scenario. Like, do you want fifty five percent? Ooh, okay, okay. Steam engines. Um, do you want five percent more radicals right away, or do you want five percent more radicals later? Um, you know. So we take the dump, we take the hit to the institution, and then we just work it back up. Perfect, easy, no one cares. War has broken out. No one joined my side. Two arms. So we're going to see if they manage to invade. They invade if we, if they don't. Uh, we just have to wait. The engines of progress. The manufacture of steam engines has become a profitable industry in Cape Colony thanks to our sound investment in locomotive technology. These engines are already being employed across new Cape Colony's railway lines. Ooh, that would be nice, but we're not going for that. No, we're not going for that anytime soon. So we're going to get the 15% motor industries throughput. Really try to increase that money. Um, are we trading right now? I think we are. Uh, we, we might be. We are. So our convoys don't mean anything. We're just hoping they run out of money. Because they're going to run out of war support way faster than we do. And then we can force some uh, peace demands. I still don't think we want to reform the government. Lots of stuff happening. Okay, joining the scramble for Africa. 
Cape Colony's growing colonial empire in Africa, along with new means to prevent malaria, has made us a serious contender for colonial control of the continent. Uh, bring out the maps on the straight edges. We got the malaria. Um, but let's take a look. And we still have the strong malaria. So, yeah, we have to. And if we look at the diplomat, uh, it's reset to major, major days. So, unfortunately, this is, well, oops, excuse me. Uh, get rid of this. We research a new technology, which is going to be human rights. And we'll move down to feminism. Uh, we have to save the game. Please. It's loading. I believe in it. Okay, there we go. We'll save the game. And sometimes saving can take a while. I do apologize, but we'll, we'll get this going. We'll get this going. And we have to reload to actually get the malaria prevention to work. So now we load the game. And this should fix it. It should. I've been told this is how you fix it. But if it's not how you fix it, then uh, I, I don't know what to do. It did fix it, so instead of 5,000 days, it's 280. Much, much better. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't think we want to reform. Government's at 73% legitimacy. We've marginalized the Angel Anglican church and the landowners, so they don't really matter that much. Everyone's pretty happy except the rural folk. That's fine by me. And the only thing we really want to pass is kind of the uh, compulsory, compulsory, wow, uh, primary school and feminism. So that is what we will be doing. Plus, you know, some health systems, public health insurance. We'll, we'll enact that. We'll get that going. Um, own seven or more unincorporated states in Africa? Yes, I could do that, but I do love taxes. I love me some taxes. Decisions? No. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're still at war. Great Britain hasn't isn't uh, naval invading just yet. We'll see how it goes. But we'll just keep building. We'll keep building until uh, they they come over here. Textile mills, tooling. We might want to build a power plant. Great Britain has invaded. This is terrible news. Uh, this is actually terrible news. So we need to mobilize and attempt. Actually, mobilize. And come into this battle. We're pushing them back. We're pushing a naval invasion back. Um, little by little. We do have 92 defense against their offense. Ooh, a good vintage. The wine produced in Eastern Cape has been lauded by sommeliers as outstanding. Uh, five prestige or building wine output. We'll take the output. We'll make more wine. He's here in this battle. We're pushing him back. We're pushing him back.
Just barely, okay. Mission to Africa. A group of Christian missionaries want to bring the salvation of the Gospels to our colony in Cape Colony's Herirorand. Uh, spreading the faith. 100% conversion. Tensions decrease. Tensions increase. We'll increase the tensions. If they attack, they'll back down. More than likely, they'll back down. And we will uh, swoop in and just take the rest of the territory. That'll be a good good maneuver. So, military. Defend. Okay. We'll still just keep defending here. Uh, they did actually naval invade. Amazing. I haven't actually seen them invade anywhere. Uh, because they keep getting into these forever wars. So, interesting, interesting. Uh, unpin that. Cape Colonies, Botswana. We'll improve the coal mine there. And let's actually pause it real quick, get some buildings going. We'll pop those all up. We got the Romanian migration to New South Wales. Okay. Okay, so not enough qualifications. That's fine. We could build a... Sorry about that. Um, another amber alert. Wow, so loud, so loud. Uh, but a uh, food industry is there. will do well. Okay, so we just got to keep waiting until they hit 52. They hit zero. We won a battle. That's really good. Ending the slave trade. Abraham Pretorius, leader of the intelligentsia and a well-known opponent of the global slave trade, argues that our colonial ambitions in Cape Colony's Herero land should be leveraged towards ending the practice on the continent. Hmm. Okay, so we can... We have a duty to end slavery wherever our power reaches, which gives us colonial growth and growth speed. Uh, and uh, plus one interest to intelligentsia, though I don't really care about that. They're already loyal. Uh, practice, practical diplomacy, um, where they just lose interest. And then local slave trade could be a good source of workforce for our local projects, um, where we get thir plus 30% to plantations throughput. And intelligentsia loses to interest. I think we're just going to take the first one, that we have a duty to end slavery, and see how Herero, Herero land uh, reacts. Interestingly enough, we will do our best. We do want some plantations out here, though. Probably tea, cotton, and bananas. Pop all those up. And we're just waiting. We're just waiting. 41. They attacked our port in Cape Colony. We have another port on the Eastern Cape. Uh, we also have a port over here in Rero Land that they might attack. Uh, but yeah, we can end this. We can end the damaging relations. We don't, we don't want, we want to come out with our independence, but we also want to be like semi-friendly with them, right? So like we can't um, improve relations for a while. Ooh, mission to Africa, another one. Spreading the faith. Let's do it. We're going to increase tensions in Botswana. 
But I don't think they can actually revolt against me until this war is done. Which is, uh, fairly interesting. Fairly interesting. Alright, visitors from the colonies. Intellectuals from Nama are visiting... Oh, okay. Uh, just a migration, whatever. Intellectuals from Nama are visiting our capital, arguing the case that their home country is far more civilized than we make it out to be, and that our colonial designs of them are unjustified. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, I'm not taking... I'm going to make people angry. The trade unions, whatever. Intelligentsia, whatever. Industrialists, whatever. Um, I'm going to keep the speed at which I'm colonizing. I need this land. It's an unfortunate reality that in order to form South Africa, we have to take this. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping that when we become independent, we can join France's market. That'd be really nice. That would be very nice. But we'll see what happens. We shall see. Because uh, we have no fleets to, like, trade. We cannot support ourselves outside of... Outside of a another market. So we shall see. Okay. Things are looking fairly well. It brings at 7%. We're at 77. They did their best to make a landing. They failed. Because really, naval invasion is the only way. They cannot... They have no other way to get to me. Insubordinate jingoist. An officer in our African colonies has intentionally provoked a confrontation with Nama, despite instructions to keep the peace. We can either save face by going along with the officer's plot, or we call him, admit that we lost control of the situation, and upset the jingoists. Jingoists? I'm not sure how to say that word. Oof, we're not doing that. So the only thing to do is invade Nama. We could do that. Uh, I like this gay. Con <laughs> I like this gay. I like this guy. Continue the invasion and promote the officer. Um, character appears. We gain interest in. We gain interest group approval for the armed forces and trade unions. And we gain a native uprising diplomatic play against Nama. So we're going to do that, and we're going to go to war against Nama while we're already at war with Great Britain. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. This is probably a horrible decision. Um, in fact, we're going to raise our conscripts in eastern, in the northern Cape. And we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Might hire another general for the conscripts. Oh, Western Fletcher. Okay. So if we win this, we take Nama. We don't have to colonize. We just take it.
Alrighty. We continue to march across Nama. Zululand is in turmoil. We must expand our millet farms. Okay, so now we're actually in battle somewhere? They have no people, so we're just expanding. Okay. And then Continent of Opportunity in Botswana. Colonists having moved to Cape Colonies, Botswana, hoping to build a new life in Cape Colonies, new African territories are struggling to survive in the unfamiliar environment. We will supply them with what they need. Uh, so I can pay either $4,600 a week for five years, or I could minus 10 bureaucracy for five years. Or we could just say whatever. Uh, and that would cause the growth speed to slow down. So we're not going to do that. We're going to lower the bureaucracy by 10. I have that much. I can just ignore it. 245 bureaucracy. I'm pretty dang good. Okay. Let's pause it real quick, see if we can't get Britain to... But we could allow them to take a treaty port. But that would... Um, uh, no. Oops. They still won't take the deal just yet. So we will continue on with our lives. War has broken out on the southern tip. Injured farmers, that's not good. Farmers in Eastern Cape have been making appeals to the government about the dangers of the equipment they are using and would like to have some sort of health care to reduce the hardships for them. Well, guess what? I'm trying to do that. Ooh, that's really good. 40% increase in success chance for the mortality of laborers, farmers, and laborers. I think we're going to take that. You know, some of them may die, but that's okay. That's, <laughs> you know, that's just how it be sometimes. I don't, I'm not even going to pretend to know how to pronounce that. Okay. Um. So, we're just going to annex. And they will not accept that. Because their war support is still at 44, now 31. We own Nama. Not too worried about that. Little worried about Britain trying to invade when my armies are up here. But we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. Will they accept it now? 15? Okay. Probably have to going to hit a hundred. A negative hundred percent on that. 40. Okay. So we're still building, which is good. We want to keep building motor industries, chemical plants, arms industry, food industry. Another food industry would be good. Another furniture manufacturing would be good as well. And if we could pump up the logging camps in the Northern Cape. Okay. 
they will also have to hit negative 100, I believe. Another mission to Africa. Yes, we will do that. I don't care about tensions increasing between me and Nama. I have already conquered Nama. So we will take the first option, which increases assimilation and conversion rate. Sounds like a good deal to me. Okay, so we got two major wars. And we're just chilling out, building things, trying to gain our independence. We do need to build some stuff here. Although, port infrastructure. So we'll build a port, increase the ranch, and build a glassworks up there. He still proposed. Independence. We accept this deal. We accept this deal. Okay, so we've gained independence, and now we are tanking. Um, this is to be expected. This is to be expected, because we are now our own South Africa. And we're going to expand up here. We have formed South Africa. We are going to take this land up here to really make, make it look like uh, today's South Africa. And... We'll see how it goes. We will see how the market goes. South African market. It looks like we're not going too badly, but that's because the input shortages haven't hit just yet. So we really need to join a market. Join the customs union. Why do you say no? Not adjacent to ours. Okay. Defense GDP is that much different. Genuinely amicable. There's no ideological differences, but the GDP is pushing it over the edge. It's not good. That's not good. Um, can't do that. Portugal. Nope. Okay, I was really counting on France. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. Okay. So really, we would have to expand all the way up here to hit France. That's bad news. That's really bad news. Um. Okay. Maybe Portugal. Can we join the... Nah, look at their market though. GDP. I'm bigger than them. Okay. So, we formed South Africa. We're independent. We are in our own market. We're probably going to crash. I'm going to say that right now. Next episode, we're probably going to tank really hard. Um, if that happens, we're going to rewind time somehow through the mystic arts of reloading. <laughs> so we have that save from when I loaded to um, reset the malaria. And I'll say it right now, if we tank next episode, which I'm sure we are, uh, we're going to reload to that save and take it a little slower on gaining independence. Uh, we will see if anyone offers a uh, customs union. We'll see, but it's very unlikely. Uh, we'll just have to hope. But thanks for watching. This is Laka. Um, yeah, if you liked what you watched, if you liked what you heard, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Dude, even hit 
that subscribe button. That'd be really cool. Uh, yeah. And if you want to talk in depth, you know, hit up my Discord. There's a link to the Discord in the description of the video. And I would love to hear from you. So, this is Latka. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.